Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Paris Boothia here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking time to spend a minute or a few minutes with me as we continue learning from each other, encouraging each other, and loving on each other. Uh, my topic today is something that honestly I thought someone need to talk about it. I'm not the first to talk about it, but I think we need to emphasize on it. And this is a relationship between mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, father-in-law, son-in-law, uh, in between, uh, extended family through marriage, um, and how it's affecting our lives, and how it's affecting our children's life, and how it's affecting um, just our well-being. Why do I say this, you ask? You know, I had a lady that opened up her heart to me, and it broke my heart as usual uh, because I couldn't understand why for heaven's sake we choose to live life like almost animals not caring not loving uh, being cold just because somebody did not come from our baby or just because somebody was brought to our family through marriage now we feel like we have no business loving on that person now that is okay if honestly you just are that kind of a person you have someone who don't care you think you can you know live in this world on your own uh, and you don't need others then maybe maybe that's okay for you but as for me I have a problem with that and that's what I want us to talk about today so we're gonna talk as I drive to work and uh, you're gonna bear with me because uh, I might just go somewhere that a lot of people are not willing to go now what do i mean by this uh this lady told me that um, she love her daughter-in-law she love her son but the daughter-in-law feel the need to be nasty for whatever reason because she feel like um she don't need the mother-in-law in their life well i don't know the whole story uh, but I can only tell you through what I've experienced through a lot of people's story uh, that they've given me and all that. Now, you ask me, Paris, how is this your business? It is my business because I think we are all losing it. What happened to loving and respecting our elderly? What happened to loving and respecting our parents? What happened to just being normal? What happened? Please answer me that. What happened? When did we become cold? When did we become people who don't care? When did we become uh, sons and daughters that act as if we were given birth by animals? When? What's wrong with us? What's wrong with this young generation? I'm just, honestly, I thought we need to have this talk. So now, you ask, Paris, what's your beef? I don't have a beef. I just wanna ask you a question. If you're married, you have this beautiful wife or you have this handsome man who loves you, who loves your children. Or if you don't have children, you just love each other and you hope one day God will bless you with your children. Why would you treat your mother-in-law or your father-in-law with disrespect? Why would you hate them? They gave you one of their most important things their son or their daughter and you who is an in-law a mother or a father in-law God gave you a son or a daughter added on a blessing in your life oh my god if only we can all see that this is a blessing that God gave us freely we don't deserve it but somehow he who find a wife find a good thing she who have a husband oh Lord get a partner for life somebody to be there with you through thick and thin now i don't know why then this thing of i don't like my mother-in-law i don't like my father-in-law i don't like my sister-in-law i don't like my brother-in-law i don't like i don't like i don't like i don't like what is wrong with us what is wrong with us please i'm begging you let us change our attitude towards life let us change our attitude towards each other and let us realize that when god has blessed you with a family that you're calling in-laws now they're not just your in-laws they are your life 
because if you're gonna have kids yes the blood then now have become one so how would you like it if your daughter get married or your son get married and your son-in-law or your daughter-in-law hates you and doesn't treat you well and disrespect you and just make you feel small and just frustrate you and make sure that the relationship between you and your son or your daughter is over how would you like it so for everything you do always remember always remember consequences follows you might not see it today but tomorrow you'll pay for it so my prayer is that we all can live together in harmony i'm not saying we live in the same house i'm not even saying that uh, you see your mother-in-law your father-in-law or your in-laws every day now but i'm saying the one time god give you a chance to be in the same place in the same premise can we just learn to just shut up can we just learn to just love each other can we just learn to be civil about things can we just treat each other with respect you know i happened and maybe you might ask paris what's wrong with you have you gone through this yourself let me tell you i have a mother-in-law yes i do my mom is also a mother-in-law i'm not a mother-in-law yet but i'm sure soon i'll be because i have a 21 and a half year old but what i've learned through it all is that when you respect each other yes then you learn to live together and love each other regardless we don't always see eye to eye we don't always get along but here's the thing i choose to always respect because why in the bible it is the only commandment with reward think about that next time you feel like disrespecting your parents or just disrespecting your in-laws or you in law think of disrespecting your children because also the bible command that you should not alienate your children through your mouth so now you ask Paris, what is your point how do you deal with this this is all i can say my two cents the only person who is able to make all things new change them all is the lord he makes things new so today is the day you ask the lord to make your relationship with your mother-in-law your relationship with your father-in-law, your relationship with your in-laws, your relationship with your brothers-in-law, sister-in-law, new. Listen, let's remove the in-laws and just see them as our sisters, our brothers, our mothers, our fathers, our daughters, our sons. Let's love each other unconditionally because when we do that, we give our children an environment that is very positive to grow in and we lace well-balanced children that will love each other that will never look at things the way some of us look at them so that's my two cents just remove the in-laws and see them as your family see them as your brother and your sister see your mother-in-law as your mother see your father-in-law as your father and you mother-in-law who's seeing the daughter-in-law or the son-in-law as if it's an outsider see them as your child you love your child that love should just be able to flow over to your daughter or your son i love you let's keep talking subscribe subscribe parisboothia.com uh, let's meet there and let's continue talking thank you very much bye